Hi, Squidward Tentacles here, and you're watching Quintagolos. I don't know what that is, but you're watching it. What are those Neanderthals up to? Don't they know I'm busy spoiling myself? <laughs> Rafi Media Vía de Crítico Lobos, continuamos aquí en Epicon 2018 y me encuentro con una persona sumamente importante, Roger Dumpers, the voice of Squidward in SpongeBob SquarePants. Roger, welcome to Crítico Lobos. Thank you, it's great to be here, guys. I, I gotta talk, such an important show, the legacy that, 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 that this show has. I grew up with SpongeBob. I know my kids are gonna grow up with SpongeBob. What does that mean, that legacy? What does that mean to you? It's just that. It's a legacy. I, I now have seen three gener uh, gen the generations that have told me they, they have uh, given their, their ideas and, and, uh, and showing to uh, their, their grandchildren now. I've done it to my grandchildren. It's, it's just a wonderful thing to be a part of that. It's, for me, it's like Looney Tunes. I grew up on that. You grew up on this. And they're very similar cartoons. So um, we're, it's, it's such a blessing to be a part of this kind of a lineage. Between the years, when SpongeBob first started, how has it changed? How has it evolved? When we first started out, as any long-running show, our characters were a, sli a slight bit different. I was very monotone, blah, 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 blah. Then they learned that I could do other things, and I got to spread my wings. I became much more fleshed out and now a w much more rounded character. In fact, everybody has expanded their repertoire on what, they're, what they do on the show. Let's talk a little bit about the movies. Let's talk about the movies. Um, there's a third movie coming in right now. What can we expect from the movies? And how the movies have, have, have how, how the movies have, what impact has the movie made, made on, the, on the franchise? Well, I, I wish I could tell you what's, what to expect in this third movie, but they haven't told me very much. They just give me the, uh, the script that I'm reading, and then they put it all together. They're very secretive about this sort of thing. I don't know how they're going to top the second one, though, because that was a pretty nice one. I, I always try to give you guys something, but, you know... They're, they're secrets. They don't want to give anything away. Roger, what other friends you have pending besides SpongeBob? Well, we're, we are uh, just been opened up to another. This is Zim over here, and he's <laughs> laughing and distracting, and, and I'm going to beat his head in as soon as this interview is over, okay? I'm going to throw something at him now. And, and, uh, what was the question? Oh, what other friends you have pending? What other friends, other friends you have pending? Uh, we uh, just got picked up for another uh, uh, season, and as I say, we're doing the movie, and uh, hopefully uh, in a couple of more seasons after that, and uh, so I can still pay the bills. Good. It's important. It's important. <laughs> Very important. Th thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Roger. My thank pleasure. You. My pleasure, and have a great day, everybody here.